Hi everyone, it's Jay here from Interview Query and the Data Science Jay YouTube channel. Uh, today I am talking about the LinkedIn Data Science Interview. LinkedIn is probably one of the uh, biggest companies in the world. Got bought by Microsoft a few years ago and everyone kind of knows it now as like the professional social network, right? And so in general, every single kind of social network needs to hire data scientists to especially manage their metrics make sure that what the products that they're working on are specifically going to drive engagement. Uh, because as you guys know, in the attention economy that we now live in, engagement is king. There is uh, no substitute for engagement, which is why I make YouTube videos. So you guys can watch me talking about data science instead of, you know, doing something else like having your roommates walk in the door behind you while you're filming something. So let's dive into this data science interview, right? Uh, so effectively, um, LinkedIn's culture kind of has stayed the same. Uh, they were bought by Microsoft uh, and they still kind of, they didn't move to Seattle or anything. They stayed in Mountain View. Um, there's effectively four different levels uh, specifically for the data science position at LinkedIn, right? Uh, there are regular data scientists um, and this can be anything from entry level to around like five years of experience. Uh, then senior data scientist, which is then around uh, five plus years of experience. And then staff data scientist, which is around, uh, I would say like eight to 10 years of experience. And then the principal data scientist is the fourth one, highest level. Uh, and that can be anywhere from like 10 plus years of experience to, you know, maybe even 30 years of experience. So effectively, um, you can see that they have like a pretty solid like engagement path at this point. Uh, they definitely have the most amount of data scientists per like team member possibly, uh, except for maybe Facebook or Google. Um, but given the fact that LinkedIn uh, cares so much about like making sure that its engagement metrics are actually really solid, um, that's why they really care about like having an analytics team that is engaged with like the product and the general product metrics performance, right? And so something to note about like the data science role is that it's very similar to Facebook as well in which that the data scientists work, as we said, like very closely with product. And that means that generally there's not too much um, like programming or uh, committing code into a code base. Uh, that's more of the machine learning engineering role where you're building models and implementing them. Uh, so the data science role is much more like analytics focused, uh, which means a lot of SQL and a lot of uh, more like statistical analysis and probability. Uh, going through the interview, there's actually just uh, three or four stages, right? So the first one is the recruiter screen. The recruiter will find you on LinkedIn, probably because they want to dog food their own product, uh, talk to you about your experience, uh, see if they can actually fit you into one of their roles. And then the next step is the general uh, hiring manager, like technical screen. Uh, and so it might be a hiring manager, it might be a data scientist, but basically they call you up and they do uh, either SQL questions or like a product sense uh, question. And so uh, those interviews are usually back to back and they'll either choose one or the other. Uh, but effectively, there'll be questions around like, how do we measure whether someone who is on LinkedIn today will continue to be on LinkedIn like in a week, right? That's like an example of a business case question. Um, or let's say like, we want to recommend uh, our users essentially more people that they connect to. Like, how do we do that? Uh, and so these are all effective uh, general questions that happen uh, in terms of the initial technical screens for all of these companies. The next uh, interview in terms of, uh, is generally an on-site interview after you get past those uh, two technical interviews, right? And so this one is gonna be with basically five different people uh, an on-site and then you have also like a lunch meeting as well where you talk to a uh, data scientist over lunch and you kind of catch up and get a feel for like the entire company as well. These are effectively just like any other tech company, um, they consist of like a round robin of around like analytics where you're working with SQL, demonstrating your capacity to effectively uh, write SQL queries. Uh, and then there's like a product question uh, in which uh, they'll ask you a question like, how do you implement or measure the success of like a new chat feature? And you have to talk about um, how effective that would be for uh, the LinkedIn product, right? And then like what metrics could you actually use to prove that? Next would be 
more of a like a hiring manager interview and so you'll generally talk to like just a manager that'll just kind of get a feel for like how much you're interested in LinkedIn like tell you about the culture of the company answer any questions that you have about the company that uh, you wouldn't really get from just like the data scientist just to really understand like um, just the engineering managerial perspective right uh, and then there's also a probability and statistics interview. And so this one is just trying to figure out if you can compute uh, general probability uh, and stats. Uh, and this can be, honestly, anything across the spectrum. So it's really good to just practice up on uh, your overall knowledge in this space. Um, I don't think it'll be cr something crazy hard, but there are a lot of pretty difficult probability questions when you like kind of think about it at that point. And then lastly, I think there's more of a general problem solving question. Uh, in which you're talking to a data scientist about like a modeling problem or like a more of an analytics problem and then you get a feel for uh, and they try to understand just your critical thinking abilities uh, and so the entire time there's no like Python there's no coding uh, except in SQL um, and it's all pretty straightforward in terms of uh, those interview questions there in terms of tips I say that uh, Generally, um, it helps to, to really understand and perform well on the interviews because of the fact that if uh, your compensation is directly tied to how well you do in the interview and especially what level you get to. And so if you have like 10 years of experience, right, you could hit a staff data scientist or a principal data scientist, uh, but depending on how well you do, um, they might put you in staff or principal or just not even hire you because you don't demonstrate the amount of knowledge that you need for like someone with 10 plus years of experience, right? They can't justify paying you like three, four hundred thousand dollars if you can't hit like the general hiring bar uh, for LinkedIn. So, uh, you know, they make uh, the data scientists make a lot of money um, and you kind of have to back it up at the same time. Lastly, I would say it's also to, really important to just focus on engagement metrics because um, those actually really help in terms of. Uh, understanding uh, your product and understanding what drives the business forward and even though LinkedIn is a huge company I mean I think in their interviews they really do care about uh, how well you can actually uh, communicate like how you understand the business and what actually drives uh, product forward in terms of metrics and analysis right and so uh, I'll go over a couple of sample questions that are related to this uh, but effectively uh, something that uh, you would see is, uh, let's say that like due to engineering constraints, the company can't A-B test a feature before launching it. How would you analyze how the feature is performing? That's an example of like a very classic product problem uh, that you'd really need to like critically think through and talk through your approach to solving. Some other sample LinkedIn data science questions are, uh, so what's your favorite kernel function? This is more of a modeling one. Uh, what's the difference between L1 and L2 regularization, and why would you use each? Third one is, how would you generate a uniform number from a non-uniform distributed function? So this would be effectively a more of a machine learning slash probability question. Uh, and then let's say, let's say we're given a data set of page views where each row represents one page view. How do you differentiate between scrapers and real people? Um, this is more of an analysis and like critical thinking problem. So yeah. Those are the example questions. Uh, if you guys have any other more questions, please uh, comment in the video below. Uh, like and subscribe and check out Interview Query if you want uh, more solutions to these questions uh, and just more general interview preparation uh, for data science interview uh, coming up.